Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my 100% Zero playthrough. On the last episode, we went through the Valentine's Day and the Halloween Headhunters, but we actually missed one thing in the Halloween Headhunter, and that is the Easter Egg. I mentioned I'd get this done at the start of this episode, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Right there's our first of six pumpkins, that's one of the steps. After I get this Easter Egg done, today I plan on getting back to the main story at long last. Well, probably not the main story, but at least the main side missions. Got another pumpkin there. I'll head back to Sanctuary and start accepting all those side missions. It's going to take quite a while to get through them all, I can imagine. Although we are over-leveled, so that should help speed things up a little bit. Got another pumpkin here by the church. Right behind the church, we have a TV tucked away in this little nook. This is a ring Easter egg, I do believe. All right, think that's good. Should have triggered that one. I believe we have two more TVs to find. Then we got to get a couple more pumpkins and kill the pumpkin kingpin. And with any luck, that should finally get the Easter egg to work. Pumpkin number four right there. I have to go through the pumpkin patch in order to reach my other pumpkins and television screens. So I suppose now is a good time to take on the pumpkin paint. Pumpkin Pinkin, yes. Now is a good time to take on the Pumpkin Pinkin yet again. He gave me a little bit of trouble last time. Let's see if we can't make up for that. Oh, he got me. It's okay, we got plenty of little pumpkins around. He's holding one in his hand, matter of fact. Let me see that. Something. Somebody. Uh. 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 Uh, well, that didn't go as planned. I don't know what the fuck I was really doing there. Should've just swapped out to my bandit launcher, but I was being stubborn. I thought I could shoot one of them out of his hands. Alrighty, big man, round two. Okay, okay, well, shield's gone. Oh my god, he's eviscerating me. Health's gone, too. Oh, half his health with that one. I must be, like, hitting his little gremlins on his shoulder. But there's no way my final strikes are doing... And I'm just dead. I just can't even avoid it. I just die. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Let me get one of your fucking kids. Reload, reload, reload. What? I just, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why can't I kill him? Why can't I kill this guy? Holy shit, I killed him. I finally killed him. Well, I didn't kill him yet, I gotta kill his head, but whatever, the hard part's over. It's only gonna take one hit for this little piece of shit. Come here. Oh, never mind, two hits. I have the roid shield depleted, that was a problem. Your time is up. Come on, come on, come on. Huh? What? Huh? No, 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 not like this. No, no, then, no, no, no. And I had to stare at Zero's ass in the kill cam. What is, <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna start putting some points into be like water now. That way I can unlock many must fall. Screw you, screw you. This is where you fall. This is where you die. Okay, he's down again. Now he's got to get his head. I'm not going to be as stupid about it this time. Here, break my roid shield. Thank you. Here's the head. There it goes. Okay, pumpkin kingpin is fucking gone. I hate that stupid fucking idiot. Never going to eat another pumpkin-themed dish in all my life. I swear to God, I won't. Now that that's over, I've come to the second television. This one's just uh, a psycho eerily staring at a camera. I wonder what he wants to say. Here is our third and final television. I'm no horror movie enthusiast, so I really don't know what horror movies all these things belong to. I know that might be heresy to some of you. I apologize. What are you doing, man? Get the fuck out of here. Think... That's that. I'm gonna head out of here now. Have one more pumpkin on the steps on our way out, and I do believe that was our sixth, so that should be everything for the Easter egg. Let's go back. Oh, wait, no. I can't forget the pot. Right here on the right, we're going to sacrifice a grenade mod, a gun, and a shield. I'm not actually sure if I have one of each of those I'm willing to get rid of. We'll find out. I need to find a shield. Just gonna snag a cheap shield from the vendor. Toss in a gun. Grenade mod. And the shield. We got a droog back. I put a droog in, got a droog back. I do think that's a better one than what we put in, though. Hold on to that, I suppose. I don't know if I'll end up using it. All right, well, now we're in the church. We get a chest out of here. Ooh, a bandit launcher. Hey, hey, hey. Better damage. Better reload speed. Better fire rate. The true test, though. Whatever, man. I just I can't win for losing with these bandit launchers. You know, they're always slow, but still an upgrade, so I'll take it. Now, please tell me we've done everything correctly. <gasps> it lit. I think we did it. Something's happening. Oh, look at that beast. Clark the Combusted Crypt Keeper. Okay. Didn't get the critical. I might have been able to one-shot him there. Ow. Clark hurts. And I'm dead instantly. Wow. Alright, it's over for you, Clark. There we go. 
what have we there? A pyrophobia. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm assuming that must be something that he drops because, you know, he is on fire and all. To be honest, I, I don't even know if I've ever used a pyrophobia. What, is, what does it do? Holy shit. It does something. Look at that thing. Well, I'll mark that off on our legendary list. There's the pyrophobia. Oh, reload is sick, too. At long last, back in Sanctuary, we managed to get everything done for all the headhunters and play through one. Now, we gotta start doing some side missions, so I'm just gonna go around right now and accept them all, starting with the bounty board. Ah, uh, these are two of the most notable missions in the game, Good, the Bad, and the Mordecai in Clan War. Couple from Hammerlock, oh, I gotta kill old Slappy, and Perfectly Peaceful, I think I remember doing this at one point. Also, something very important I need to do while I'm here is buy some more storage space. I'm gonna buy a backpack upgrade. Um, I'm not gonna buy the 50 iridium one just yet. I'll put a couple in the bank as well. Get another grenade, another pistol, another sniper. Might as well do launcher as well. Do a couple in the launcher actually. Yep, upgraded pretty much everything, a bunch. That's gonna help us out. Well, we just completed a few more badass challenges. You know, I haven't looked at my badass challenge log like at all this entire playthrough. Let's take a look. 47 tokens to redeem. That's yeah, not that many, I guess. As you can see, we, we've not really made too much of a dent. Here's our enemies challenges. We're doing okay on these. Oh, we gotta kill Hyperius a certain amount of time even oh my god so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to kill the raid bosses multiple times i suppose i don't have to kill him at op 10 i can kill him at any difficulty i have to kill him at least once at op 10 right. couple from tannis doctor's orders and hidden journals everybody knows doctor's orders i'm not gonna farm any loot midgets in the preserve this time around i will later on but for now i'm just gonna probably complete that mission claptrap oh it's claptrap's birthday i'm sorry clap you know what? i'll come back for this one i'll make sure i do this one before i leave that's a very special mission i wouldn't want to make claptrap wait three from scooter get shorty cold shoulder okay so those ones are in uh the the fridge and then overlook medicine man okay i do vaguely remember those missions it's been a long time since i've done a lot of these and some of them i probably haven't ever done Marcus, you old bastard, safe and sound. We've got every mission in Sanctuary now, but before I move on to that, let's get Claptrap's birthday bash started, shall we? Alright, see you there, Scooter. Moxie? Alright. The gang's all here. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I call this one the epileptic. Claptrap. No, oh, don't say that, Claptrap. You got all your friends here. What about old tire and rusty stool? Come on. Don't forget about rusty stool. I don't mind if I do. What flavor we got there? God, what the fuck? Fish skeleton and pepperoni, and I don't even think they cooked it. Whatever. Yum, yum. Well, that's that. Looks like Claptrap's birthday party was a resounding success. Turn it in. I uh, don't care about any of that. See you in one year when I finally get to true Vault Hunter mode, Claptrap. There we are, Hammerlock's appendage. That will surely come in handy. We'll take on old Slappy soon, but for now I'm gonna head into Sanctuary Hole, make my way to Caustic Caverns, and do some of these missions here. Oh no! The safe! Come on, man. Whoa, what is happening? Well, how am I killing him? Uh, okay. I don't know what's happened. Something with, like, the collision from his shield? Wow. That was crazy. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. 23. 24. I see it. I see 25. 25. This is probably the first time I've ever entered Caustic Caverns at level 32 on playthrough 1, I must say. Piece of evidence right there. There's a chrysalis. 1, 2... Three, you're dead. Blue is on my way, so I suppose I'll stop and take care of him while I'm here. Wonder if I'll be able to one-shot him as well. Yep, one. Oh, come on, Blue. Don't be difficult now. Two. Come on, come on. Three. There goes Blue. Got some interesting pictures of Moxie there. Four Thresher. And... Five Thresher, okay. I'm not gonna be going too in-depth in the Caustic Caverns. I might go do the Minecraft Easter Egg, or I might save it for a different playthrough. I'm not too sure right now. I'd rather just speed through the missions on True Vault Hunter mode and Normal mode, because I'm gonna be over-leveled anyway, and then once I get to Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, I'll make sure I take my time and actually get every little thing from every single area. Deep into the Caustic Caverns, we have another side mission, Minecart Mischief. I've never spent that much time in the Caustic Caverns. It is an amazing zone. Wow. And I don't even think I've ever looked up either. That is just, that's glorious. Put two, three, four, two, three, four. Come on now. I've been working on the railroad all the live long. What the fuck? Quit doing that. 
All the live long. Oh, never mind. We're here. All right. There we go. Finally. There we go. Four iridium. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, there's another echo recorder. Chubby Varkin! I saw him for a split second. What the fuck is going on? I just got a chubby spider at last episode. But, you know, that's his corpse right there. As you can see, he's quite obese. Mark that down. The Chubby Varkin. All right. Made it back to Sanctuary now. I'll do the Minecraft Easter egg later. I really would rather not waste time on it right now since we've only got to do it once and farm the weapons. So I think I'll probably do that in true Vault Hunter mode or Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Accidentally ended up going to Marcus, but I guess I'll just turn it into him. The Lucrative Opportunity Relic. This is a completely worthless artifact since you can just save, quit, and reset the vendors, but it is a unique one, so I'll mark it down on our list. Turn that into Hammerlock. What about the Pyrophobia? Woo! Oh, slap, he can't handle the old pyrophobia, can he? Take back Tamerlock's arm, turn that into Hammerlock, and there we have another unique weapon, the Octo. Somehow, some way, I really don't remember the Octo at all. Looks really awesome, but unfortunately, it is a TDR shotgun, so, you know, it's, it can't be that good. Yeah, I can already tell that's going to be bad. Our next stop is going to be the fridge. We've got three missions to take care of there. One of them is yet to be discovered. And poor mag number three. There you are, Scooter. Maybe you can stop dating your family members now and just use those porn magazines, huh? There's one flower, two flowers. Oh, these are blade flowers. I remember these. These are what TK Baja made me collect for his food supply in Borderlands 1. Still to this day, don't really know what the nutritional value of these could be, but hey. Who am I? Here we have flower number five. Now we just have to go find the beautiful bride to be on. Oh, never mind, we got pizza first. Okay, what do we got here? More girly magazines. Oh, I guess there's more than three placed around here then. There's even another one over there. That's crazy. There's an absurd amount of porn around this place. I think I did him a favor. I guess that was that. So now we will do swallowed hole. Oh, shorty. I don't even know what this little thing is. Is that like a skeleton and ghost oh oh I, that's him i see oh i didn't use a shock weapon oh no not too big of a deal kill shorty now and uh well that's the so what i cut him out of this guy's stomach to kill him i looked up what that third undiscovered mission is in the fridge and actually it drops from a goliath which only spawns after we do scooter's mission so i'll turn this into scooter then we can head back kill that goliath and do the third and final mission in the fridge boom and boom Ooh. A new skin, look at that, reptilian for us. Put it on the list, it's been a long while since we've had a skin to mark down. What a momentous occasion. Here's a look at Mark. We got the alien skin with the reptile head. I'd say that's pretty fitting. Oh wait, I hear Goliath. That's just a normal Goliath, I don't know if that's... Oh, no, that's the one, there we go. Echo recorder, there we go, accept the mission. Ah, yes, this is where we had to go, all right. So just had to backtrack over to Laney, and now we are in the rat maze. Now for the chest, break all the ice off of it. And turn that in another unique weapon, the Hurdy Roaster. Wow, a unique bandit launcher. Only level 21, so I'm probably not going to get any use out of it, but I'll mark that on the list. Holy fucking shit, smash head. Look at this beast. There he goes. Well, that was pretty cool. Never done any of that before. Save quick. Time to go to the Highlands Overlook now. There's four missions here, two of which we have. The other two we'll have to find. Although I think uh, they might just be at this bounty board right here. Yep, there they are. Arms dealing. I think I remember this one. We got to go do a delivery, a timed delivery. And then stalking of stalkers. This one gives us a unique shield, I believe. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I suppose I'll take a crack at Zed's timed race. First of all, let's get our car spawned. Definitely want the catapult technical much faster than the other one. There. There's number one. Got it. It's not looking good, I must say. There's no way for me to get back up to our car. I should have just driven down, but I was kind of in a bad spot. I didn't realize where that one was. 40 seconds. I'm almost to the catch ride. We'll see if I cruise. It's possible. Three, two. Oh, we were so close, man. This time, Zed, this time it'll be different. Number three. Grab number four. Four. Come to the final mailbox. Finally, there is our fifth arm. Now we can get the fuck out of here. And with over a minute left to spare, we've delivered the arms. Next mission I'm going to do is the stalker pile one. Just got to go around breaking stalker piles to find some echo logs. If memory serves, there is a echo recorder somewhere up here for Tannis. Yep, there it is. Oh, I picked one up just in the car. That's the easy way to do it. Oh, there's number three. Four. And five, nice. This must be Hammerlock's gentlemanly mailbox. Turn that in. Check on Overlook. Got to talk to this lady here. I believe she's got one hell of a quest line for us. Got to scale up to the clock tower now so we can steal its battery for their vending machine. I can't believe the only thing preventing these guys from life-saving medication is a goddamn battery that they could have just walked up and got. I mean, climbed, I guess. There's the medicine. Shipment number two. What is that? I guess we found another mission. This is Taggart's gift for mom. A purple shield. Okay, yeah, this is the purple shield I was talking about that I thought we would get. 
There we go. Snag that. Turn that in. Wow. Another skin. This skin is cyan. I wonder what color it is. Put that one on the list. Now another mission. Overlook needs a shield. I ran over to my car to do this mission, but I completely forgot we just gotta grind some shields in the grinder up here. Shield one, two, three, four, five. That should be good. None of them ground. Oh my god, and that one took orbit. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Well, grind. Alright, one. Shield pieces. Four and five. Turn that one in. The final mission in this chain requires us to come up to some Hyperion camp so we can fire a mortar on them and test their shield. Well, let's see how that shield works. Rest in peace, David. Looks good to me. Turn that in. We have here the Deadly Bloom. I'll mark that off on the list. I've never really used this shield, but I don't think it'll be very good on zero, especially not at level 18. We have two more missions to do in the Highlands. Best Mother's Day ever for Tiger, and then Hidden Journals for Tannis. I'll knock these two out. I'm gonna get rid of Henry now. Uh, just need a poke. Poke. Iridium, and then there's the thing we need. That is his gift. Oh, it was his fist. Never mind. I see. We needed to get his fist in order to open the present because it required his fist print. Yes, open sesame, and now we have the love thumper. This would have been very useful if we got it earlier on, but at level 18, it's not going to do us very well. Only one thing left to do in the highlands, and that is to collect the final three of Tannis's journals. Number two right there. Tape number three. Fuse box, all right. A long, long last. The final tape. Back in Sanctuary, I'll turn that Listen into Tannis, notes, and I... she gives us another one. I think I'll take care of this mission in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. That would mean a lot. I'll show everything we managed to get done today on screen. We're at 109 out of 861 missions now. Made a lot of progress on our missions, that's for sure. Overall, we got quite a bit done. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see everybody on the next episode. Have a great day.